We're playing a lottery game. We're going to pick nine numbers from 1 to 52. So that means there's 52 numbers total, and we're picking nine. The total outcomes, total ways you can pick, it's the choose function because the order doesn't matter. And we have 52 total, and we're choosing nine. So it's 52 choose nine. Should be a comma in the middle. It looks like a one. 52 comma nine. That's the total outcomes. Now we're going to switch over to think about the favorable outcomes. We need eight to match and one to not match. So there's two separate choose functions. Now on the first one, we need eight to match uh, out of nine. So it's nine choosing eight. We need one to not match. This one's a little bit more tricky. And not match, uh, we have to think of there's 52 numbers, but there's nine that are chosen, so there's 43 remaining. So there's 43 that won't match. So there's 43 possibilities, and we're choosing one of them. If you want to visualize this, think about nine blanks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blanks. You want the last, the first eight to match and the last one to not match. So this represents the first eight. I'm choosing eight that match. And then this represents the last one where there's 43 possibilities uh, to not match. And you're choosing, again, one number to not match. And we're going to multiply these together. So this is our favorable outcomes. NCR 9, comma 8 times NCR... 43 comma 1 and we put these together for the probability probability there's an L in there somewhere and it's going to be favorable divided by total and our favorable is that product right above NCR 9 8 times NCR 43 comma 1 divided by the big NCR 52 9. Now we can take this over to the calculator. Let's clear this out. You do have to click on function over here, NCR. Uh, the numerator was something, 9 8. 9 comma 8 and the second forty three one. So here it's NCR forty three comma one close parenthesis. Denominator was the big NCR that was the total fifty two choose nine. Close parentheses, enter. There we go. That right there is in scientific notation. Uh, to get in regular notation, um, you'd have to compute these separately. That's not going to change it. All right, so that will be your probability right here. Uh, this answer is going to be in fractions here. Um, and I will make sure the problem lets you turn in a decimal, not just a fraction. But if you divide this out, you will get this number right here. And we can test that out. 387 divided by 367907. 5400. And we see it's the same number right there.